How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a hotkey on your stream deck to be able to trigger the hotkey for your instant replay buffer on both OBS and on Streamlabs. Now I had created a whole video that shows how all that works in terms of like setting up the instant replay buffer between both of them and I'll link that in the video description below in the card above for you guys to check out and then you can come back here and watch this video. But essentially what it's going to do whenever you use the instant replay buffer or anything like that, it's going to capture a certain duration that you set in OBS or in Streamlabs to be able to capture the high quality clips. That way you can use them for social media or YouTube or anything like that. Very similar to how you see on this clip here. It's not pixelated or anything like that. It's exactly how you see it in OBS or in Streamlabs. And then that way you're not worrying about it being compressed or anything like that that you normally see with like Twitch or anything like that. So that is essentially what this whole thing is going to do. And it's really easy to set up. So in your stream deck here, what you're going to do is go to system and you're going to open this up and you're going to look for hotkey and you're just going to left click and drag it into one of the empty tiles and you can title it whatever you want. I have mine for horizontal which is the clip I just played. That is gonna be for the instant replay buffer for that. And that's gonna do it in just a horizontal mode, very similar to how you just saw. And all you gotta do is click in here and then whatever hotkey you set it for, you just hit it on your keyboard. So like if I had it set for pause, then it's gonna be pause that I hit for me to be able to do it. I'm just gonna rename this real quick. Now, once you have that hotkey set up, whenever you're wanting to trigger it in OBS or in Streamlabs, just hit it on your stream deck and it's going to capture the last, like say 60 seconds or whatever you had set up. And that's essentially it. So I'm going to kind of just walk it through and show you guys how, how it all would work. But if you don't want to watch that part of the video, that's perfectly fine because it's pretty much everything you need to know right there. But for those visual learners, I'm going to show you guys how to do everything. All right. So don't mind the mess on the screen because I'm capturing the desktop. So it's just going to do endless windows, but you want to make sure that you have the start replay buffer turned on and you can set a hotkey for that as well inside of the settings. If you go into your settings, you're going to go into hotkeys and you're going to set all this up again. Just rewatch that first video that goes over how to do all that. And then you'll be all set. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up overwatch right here and i'm just gonna kind of like move around on the menus and stuff like that so that's what you're gonna want to pay attention to you know i'm just moving around and once i want to capture something like that then i'm gonna go ahead and hit the key on the stream deck and inside of obs you will probably see this at the very bottom of the screen that is to let you know the file path that you had set it to save to and it's going to give you the file name and everything like that so if I go back to the file path, it's gonna be right here. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on this. And now essentially it's going to capture everything in the high quality, you're gonna see it and everything like that. You can bring it into an editing software and bring it down even more if you want to. But I have it set for 60 seconds. It's in high quality and I don't have to worry about any type of compression or anything like that. It's super simple to do. And you can also do it with vertical. This is a plugin that is for OBS studio, but essentially I have the plugin that Harris Heller had created and set up a hotkey for the exact same way that I would do it for doing the horizontal version of it. And this way I just have to have it set up in my OBS and then I can go and put it on like TikTok or YouTube shorts or anything like that set for 60 seconds as well. Super simple very easy to set up great tool and that is what I have set up down here for the hotkeys and everything like that it has to be a separate hotkey for the vertical versus the horizontal uh, just so you know that if you are wanting to try to do both and you cannot launch both of them at the same time so you have to determine which one you want for which piece of content you want to share so just keep that in mind because I tested that out myself too. But yeah, essentially that is how you set it up. Like I showed in the very beginning, you know, just grabbing the hotkey, bringing it on one of the tiles, giving it the hotkey button that you set up in OBS, making sure 
the buffer is turned on and then whenever you're streaming or even if you're just like playing a game with OBS open and you just want to record clips and you don't want to go through all the editing of like having like a four hour video, you can do this as well. That tool is going to be available whether you're streaming or recording, just as long as you got the hotkey set up, but it's super easy. But if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me in the comments or you can reach out to me whenever I'm streaming over on Kick. Just make sure you follow me over there. A link's going to be in the description as well. But hopefully this was helpful for you and answers any questions. But again, make sure you watch that first video. That way you get everything set up before you watch this one. But thank you guys so much for your time and also the interest in learning on how to set this up because so many of you guys have been asking about it. But um, yeah, if you, uh, if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.